so we should have a good chance of winning this race. However, we are at the final. And I think it is closed grid. So, I'm just going to pump it around. Get around there as quick as possible. And Luke Beeson's not even moving. So, I'm just going to take pole position. On pole with Ash Bram, who's won two heats today. On both of the heats from yellow, so now goes to the back of blues because he won both. So it's me on pole, Andy on the outside in second, Ash Bram on with Sam Campbell there in fourth, and Luke Beeson at back with fifth position. It's a clutch start, and we are ready to go. And it's green flags, and we're racing. That was a great start by me, but Andy packs and what a start. He just shot off the line when he's on the outside and he's in the lead. So I had a great chance of winning this, but I had to get off the line quicker than Andy because he's so hard to overtake. Sam Campbell breathing down the neck already. Luke Beeson up to fourth and Ash Bram is down in fifth position. You'll see how quick and close racing on this track is with the national hot rods and that was a good bend i've got the inside and andy comes across but we're going to take the lead didn't want to take it like that but i had no other choice andy came across i had to try and avoid and we're in the lead break early turn it in keep sam campbell on the outside of andy paxton going up the inside there hopefully they battle each other and i've been clipped i'm on the curb Really am pushing it right now. To, oh, just got to try and keep. Yeah, we go. Keep the inside line tight. And I am not doing that at the moment because Sam is pulling me in on the bends. Oh, got a little clip again. Just trying to back him up a little bit. And Sam Cam was doing going on the outside. Just push him out a little bit, lean him into the wall. And we get the inside line back. Sam Campbell tried the outside line, nearly got there. And I managed just to shrug him off. However, we have one a bit wide. Back end out nicely, just to keep the gap. So I don't get spun out from behind. And we're finding the line, we're getting the tyres warmed up. We can now start, hopefully, trying to pull away from Sam and Andy. Um, and Andy are two of the quickest guys on hot rods at the moment. Starting to get the line sorted out a lot better now. Getting the bend sorted without stepping the back end up too much. Keeping it nice and tight. I'm hoping we can just press on now and win this race. However, on short over racing, anything can change. One mistake can end up having you spin around and lose the lead. However, we are really just trying to keep a gap now. We're pulling away slowly. And so you go wide, like I say, you come off the line. Go wide a little bit and it just affects the whole of the race and of that lap. And how much they close in on you. Sam is starting to really come on now and actually pressure me more as we approach the last stage of this race. And he's tapped me there. That was my mistake. Car seems to be coming off a bit now. However, Sam looked like he was going to the outside and put a bit too much power into the bend. Coming out of the bend. I went a bit wide. So... We are pulling away again. We have five laps left. So we're nearly at the end of this race. And I'm leading quite comfortably with Sam behind. But he hasn't really tried much yet. Oh, but mistake by me. Sam followed me. Luckily, there. He could have had the inside line. And having the inside line going into the bends is always helpful. As it is coming out of the bends as well. Just really need to hold my own now. 
Can't make a mistake. The setup has gone off completely. Just sort of flick him out wide a little bit. Put the power down. There, we keep him out wide like that. And again. Just get on the power. On the brakes. Trying to just keep it in. On the last lap now. Sam's gone for the outside. Goes for the switch. It's going to be a close finish. And I just take it. Just take it there. That was a close race in the end from me and Sam. Andy. And